Hey guys, it's Gabrielle and welcome to my channel for another video. So today I just wanted to do a quick update on the bentonite uh, detox. I know this video is long overdue. So for anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link somewhere around here so you can go check it out um but anyway i successfully completed the detox but it wasn't without problems and the problem was i had no understanding of what my body is like or how i would react to the clay so i kind of was learning as i went along now rule number one um i wasn't drinking enough water so whatever you think is enough you gotta double that during the detox this is notes from my nutritionist um and then the second thing is the amount of time to wait after you take it um to eat so in the morning i would uh, go work out and then at around 7 38 I would come back home and then take it and then by 9 I'm hungry so I start eating and that was completely wrong because since the clay is not being digested it's going through the system very slowly so the food you eat catches up with the clay faster so and therefore it mixes it all up and it's a mess and i was cramping 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 terribly um and then of course i wasn't drinking enough water so that also contributed to absolute uh discomfort um on the tummy as well as going to the bathroom so at some point i almost gave up and i called my nutritionist and I said I don't think I can do this so I went in and we had a conversation about how I was taking it and when I was taking it this is why it's very important to talk to someone so um, she we you know we talked about my lifestyle and things I like to do and how my eating habits are and so we came up with a plan so originally the dose had called for a tablespoon but I knew I couldn't manage that we had already reduced it to a teaspoon so I went even further down to a little bit less than a teaspoon and sort of worked my way up that way until I got to to a tablespoon and that's how I was able to manage it so um, and I would use juice um, I found a passion juice that I love uh, so that's what I would really use and I would use water as well because I, the passion juice was sweet and I not particularly a sweet tooth so I would add water as well and in a minute here you'll see how I uh, I would take it but one more note is um, the uh, nutritionist put me on a different supplement usually I take the women's one a day and I have had no problems with that I've taken it for years but she switched it um, and she gave me this one she um, recommended this one rainbow light and women's it's just the same as women's one a day except it's organic um, and I love it it was I was supposed to take it just during the detox but I said you know I like it so much I said you know what I'm just gonna replace my women's one a day and she said it was fine so anyway during the detox it was very important to keep my nutrients in check and this is because because I didn't understand how it was going to affect my body there was no way for me to be able to know if my it has washed out all the nutrients or if I have it right so this was sort of like an insurance policy and so I would take two um, in the morning so this is what the routine was I go work out and then I come back at 8 and then at 8 I take the clay and then at 11 before I eat the first thing I would take is two of these and then eat and then plenty of water throughout and then in the evening after supper again I would take two of these and then plenty of water before I sleep and this seemed to work perfectly for me and then the cycle would repeat the next day and the next day and the next day and this worked excellent for me uh, so it was great uh, my energy levels shot up far higher um, and I also had a lot more appetite than I usually do and I also felt energetic and it was it was very um, I don't know um, it was uh, different uh, so and then I would eat more and of course there was a lot of uh, bowel movement more than normally um, which was very good and I really felt like it really cleaned my system so yeah I plan on doing it again maybe in a month or so now that I understand how to do it um, and if, if you're going to do it I would recommend talking to someone and actually telling them what you're going to do and it's probably gonna save you a lot of aggravation um, I mean those cramps are not not funny um, so anyway that was the update um, here's a little bit I had a lot of footage from this detox but I decided you know what I don't think anybody wants to sit there and watch every day the same thing the same thing the same thing so I just um, cut little bits of clips just to show you how I was taking it um, and yeah hopefully that helps somebody it is good it works and I love it however I feel like I didn't really get the full effect of it because I was sort of just figuring out what's my comfort level what time to take it how to control when I eat you know and other things like that so but I think the next time I do it now that I've figured it out hopefully I, it will be more comfortable and it will be a lot smoother so I hope that was helpful and if you do do 
if you do the detox uh please let us know how it goes for you and hopefully nobody has the discomfort that i had i mean those cramps were bad 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 anyway the the results are really worth it once you figure out how to do it right then it's almost like you know the it was seamless no cramps nothing um and it was fantastic so i think that it's worth it and i think that i'm gonna do it again because now that i figured it out and keep in mind each individual is different my eating habits my exercise habits um water you know the amount of water i drink all of these little things that you wouldn't think affect it do affect it so it's just gonna be you observing your own lifestyle and sort of figuring out what works for you if you happen to do it uh good luck and please let us know how it works out for you and i hope this video was helpful and i will talk to you guys on the next video bye oh and please please do not do not laugh at my morning face bye